This isn't already looking good for us. Do one of you want to cancel? Great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 9 of the Solo Q Carpet of the Champ so series. I played against Peters. <laughs> right. So, what you're hearing right now is, well, look at this. Someone is cheating again. Hmm. What a surprise. What a surprise. It's almost like, I believe, 80% of our matches have been cheaters in the past three episodes of the Solo Q Carpet of Champ series. This game is falling apart and you know what makes it worse guys you know what makes it even worse let's let's throw on the the display capture here okay let's head over to my twitter do you guys remember yesterday's video right if you guys if you guys watch it you'll remember this clip right um where i just played like the worst player of all time in tdm and it was just it was just aids right well right after that we 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 queue into cheaters we played two cheaters back to back in yesterday's yesterday's episode and today I'm like, all right, well, I'm about to go to warm up. You know, yesterday was a fluke. I'm, I'm going to go warm up. It's going to be good. We're going to get some good games. No cheaters. This was this is my first warm up game, guys. This this was 10 minutes ago. This was 10 minutes ago. I spawn in. I'm like, all right, you know, time, time to warm up. I got music blasting right now. You guys can't hear it, though. And I'm like, and I'm like, shit, I died. And right here, like, I didn't I didn't I didn't know how I died. I was like, all right, whatever. And I was like, oh, 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 he's cheating. Oh, he's 44 and six. Oh, you have one minute. okay. Right. So after that, I mean, I'm nice and warmed up. I'm completely ready for this rank session. And, you know, as someone pointed out on Twitter, actually, if I go back to the tweet, some, some very intelligent individual, they said, Got the most realistic warm up for rank that you could get to be honest remember i posted this 10 minutes ago first game on now against a cheater wow oh crazy absolutely crazy let me go update this guy in the situation on the tl update first ranked game 10 10 minutes after posting this tweet I am against a five stack of you cheaters on NA. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I would like to cancel. Hopefully we cancel. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why. This is why so many of us R6 content creators are not streaming or uploading as much as we used to. This is why the solo queue series this season has only three games per episode instead of five. Because if I played five games, I'm gonna be playing uh, one or two more cheaters. GG. What a fun game. I would say I'll wait to queue so that we don't play against them. But again, this was my first game on. I mean, I, I played one game in the arcade game mode and I played a cheater. 10 minutes later, I queue for ranked and I'm playing a different five stack of cheaters in ranked. So like, I would say, oh, well, I'll just like, I'll just wait a few minutes and then queue so they get a game or, oh, I'll just switch servers. But it's like, dude, those guys are those guys are a five stack of EU players on NA servers. Like, there's nothing you can do at this point. Like, the only thing you can do is just requeue and hope you don't play against more cheaters. There's there's nothing else you can do at this point. Welcome to Rainbow Six Siege in year eight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our second game. And well, you you guys you guys won't believe this. Let's check the team chat. Oh, they're cheating. Oh, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? So this is essentially been my problem while trying to record this series, guys. Like, I would love to just play the game, right? I would love to just hop on, play with the boys, solo queue, have some good games, whatever. But the problem is that the game is in such a bad state right now 
that it's it's like virtually impossible and i and i hate complaining and i hate just like complaining about it but the, the issue is like what am i supposed to do here when every game i queue into is a cheater like am i supposed to just say nothing about it like it's not fun for me to play it's not fun for people to watch like i have a graph that shows when people are watching my videos it's called a retention graph and in my videos, I can see that that graph starts to dip downwards whenever we run into a cheater, right? As soon as we play a cheater, that graph dips by like 30%. So I lose 30% of the people watching the video as soon as we play a cheater. And like, I'm not even complaining about losing the viewership. I get it. I don't fucking blame you guys for not wanting to watch it. But that's my whole point is that like, it's not fun for me to play. It's not fun for you guys to watch. And the reality is that this is not just me. This is every single R6 content creator. So, I mean, it, it's just hard, bro. Like, it's just, it's just fucking AIDS. We'll see what kind of cheats these guys have. I mean, maybe they're walling, maybe they're not cheating at all. Who really knows? By the way, I forgot to mention, but you guys did say, um, I, I, I said in the last episode, comment what operator you want me to play. You guys said Frost or Ella. That was the most liked comment. It was Frost and Ella. Ooh, I can't even see this guy. Okay, I want to get a kill cam going here though. Friendly, last operator standing. I mean, it doesn't look like he's cheating. All friendlies were he ran in and got a pistol kill though. Let's see this. I mean, I could just be a good player. So, apparently it's obviously cheating just off that. But it just, it, like, it just, it just wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, we'll keep doing this operator thing. So comment down below on this video again, which operator you want me to play next. I'll do my best. I mean, <laughs> hopefully we get just like a regular game that I could play and we could see if uh, it's some actual content here. This season has been rough, man. I, I don't know what happened between last season and this one, but the cheaters are out of control, bro. If you're a console player right now, like, phew, I'm jealous. Secure the bomb. I know you guys have to deal with some MK bullshit, but like, dude, I'm going to be honest. I'm dealing with the MNK over the dudes shooting me through floors. Do the worst bomb peak in the game against the alleged cheaters. Your location has been compromised. I don't know. Oh, he just went in the scuba window. God damn it, I didn't get him in time. Nice, good job. No, I'm out of ammo. I downed the other one. Dude, my movement and aim is so bad, too. I didn't get any warm up at all, bro. Ubisoft, Ubisoft hit us with a double whammy this season. They said, you know what? You guys you guys actually can no longer play T Hunt. And then on top of it, you have to play Cheater Infested, Camp fucking induced players that just sit in fucking corners and TDM instead. So, no warm-ups anymore. That's fine. I should have I should have still fucking killed those guys, man. I should have killed that Twitch earlier, bro. Uh that sucks, man. I hate I hate like whiffing easy kills cuz that was such an easy clutch right there. 
I pulled up, killed the Amaru. I should have killed like two people when I got that first kill. But I was just whiffing. My leans were bad. But what I think we might have to end up doing is I think we might go back to just like playing pretty much only TMs in my Six Shot Academy server. If uh, ranked continues to be as bad as it is. And that way we can at least get legitimate games, not have to worry about cheaters. So I'd say if like this happens again next episode, or like if we just keep playing cheaters over and over today, we might we might head over to the six shot server and play some TMs. And by the way, six shot is 50% off right now for Christmas. So if you want to join and come play ranked with me, consider joining the links in the description. I haven't been playing nearly as much as I used to, simply because of how many cheaters there are. But I think. We're going to start playing more TMs. This guy's fucking in. What? Okay. Did I just get hit fired? What the fuck? I don't know about that, bro. That guy's down still. The 1v1. You can impact on the right of the door. You can impact on the right of the door and kill the down guy. Impact on the right of the door. Impact. Oh my god, bro. Now you go for it. Are you kidding me? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Mission failed. All friendlies were eliminated. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Are they cheating? I honestly have no idea. All right, they are for sure spawn people. Oh, I can't even fucking see him, bro. Hit him once. Hit him again. Try to track on the leaf, holy shit. I think he's gonna give it up, bro. I lit him up pretty good. Is he not giving it up? He's actually just not giving it up. You have located a bomb. Okay. I'm leaving. I think it's default. They okay, were actually killing him. Okay, I saw his elbow and then I just died. I don't know, man. I think they're just wall hacking, to be honest. Yeah, like, I, I'm pretty sure they're just wall hacking. Oh, man. This is so rough, guys. I just want so badly just to, like, fucking, um, play the game, man. Like we used to. I just, I just hate having to talk about cheaters or having to play them or anything. Like, I just want to, like, there, there was a comment on the video. Let me show it. This guy commented, he said, whatever operator you pick, could you explain how you play them and different strategies and tips? And I was like, that's a really good idea. I want to do that. So I was thinking, I was like, well, this guy commented play Frost or Ella. I'll play Ella and I'll give some tips. And then it's like, we just, we just end up playing cheaters. And it's, it's like, there's, there's no way to even focus on the game or the operators anymore. You know what I'm saying? So it's just so, it's just so like demoralizing, bro. I just want to focus on the content and it's like impossible. But I guess we'll try again for our, our third game now. All right, we are on Oregon and I think no one is cheating. 
Thank God. Now we can actually play the game. So for secondary gadget on Ella, I usually like to run the shield. Your other options is uh, observation blocker, which I mean like if you're in a five stack and you have a strat, I'm, I'm sure it could be good. Otherwise, I mean the shield's just better in most situations. And the barbed wire is cool. But to be honest, like, just put your Ella mines where like you would place your barbed wire and you're fine. Oh, we didn't get attic. That's bad. Grab this real quick. Secure the wall. All right. Yeah, you can either like throw all three of your gadgets down in places that like you're pretty sure people are gonna push. That's what I did. Or you can throw two down. In places you're pretty sure they're gonna push, and then pocket the third. Yo, know, they turned out big tower, probably pushing out it. Change the reinforced. Definitely pushing out it. All right, attic is good because we have a mine set up there. They're getting main wall. We've got a mine on white, so we don't need to worry about it too much. Just, oh yeah, they are still pushing that for sure. But I was coming to do Dom. All right, Dom's got that. He got fucking oh, no, got both of them. What the hell? This guy got a 4k. What? Where did he kill the other guy? He killed him with a headshot, so he had to kill at him. That's crazy. Alright, cool. Well, we actually got to play around. I mean, I didn't actually really do anything, but we stayed alive. And, like, we placed utility. That's cool, I guess. Hopefully we get some actual kills this round. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. Make sure you guys comment down below what operator or operators that you would like to see me play for the next episode, by the way. I think we're still just doing defense operators. Um, but if I see a comment with some like pretty pretty good attacking operators that has a lot of likes, I'll say fuck it and do that too. No way. Or try to debate me. But one of those there. Dude, this is where this is this is where I'm gonna keep one of my mines. Place one there. Most players are gonna push back stairs and bunker. So that's why I place those there. But I'm gonna keep my third one this time. Because they drowned it, kid, they drowned it. We don't know for sure if they're gonna push front or freezer or exactly what their plan is. That was like Yang or something. I don't even know if that shield's really a good spot. So we got the Azami, but it's fine. We got some redundancy. No, no, uh, the Yang is like 35 health. I just want to cross. We have freezer cam. Nice. Ash is there also, isn't she? Uh -huh. Be advised, Op Four has located a bomb. Oh, there is one there. Gotta wait. Uh, 
while I'm mining the door, so. Okay. One's there. Got him. Last operator standing. Front side. He's already in. Nice, Off good job. All right. Yeah, so what happened there in bunker was Ash tried to Ash charge the Ella mine. So she Ash charged on the bottom of the door and she was hoping that it was going to destroy the Ella mine on the top of the door. Oh, I'm picking Warden on default. But the reason that it worked is because it was just too high up. So the explosion didn't reach it. So that's why I just walked through the smoke. The smoke actually helped me there because he smoked off the angle so that I didn't have a line of sight on it. And he ash charged the Ella mine so that he could walk in without being mined. And that gave him like the false confidence to think that he could take that without me swinging him. But I knew he missed the Ella mine because I saw the ash charge hit the floor. So I immediately went through the smoke and I basically came out the other side as he hit it. And he was so disoriented, he had no idea what was happening. And uh, to be honest with you, his teammate basically got him killed. The second guy I killed. Also, holy fuck, guys. Holy oh, okay. That second guy basically got him killed because if they're gonna smoke and use their utility, like their ash charges and their smoke grenades, they have to push off that utility. You can't have one guy just sit there and do nothing. Especially while your third player is down main stairs and Candela rushing into the site. Like that guy, that guy needed to make some moves, bro. You must protect your bomb. I'm gonna go up and get the hatch, and then I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna pocket a lot of my mines this round. I'm not 100% where they're gonna go go through. We're gonna place one here because I just don't want to get snuck up on. And then I think we're gonna place one green hall. Hmm. This we'll just place it here. We'll pocket the last one. They're gonna push kid the bow. Big one though. White one Place the other LM mine there. So if anyone pushed up on that door, I'll know about it before they get there. That way I don't have to watch it. But now I'm using my mines to like watch angles for me since I don't have any teammates actually playing sight. I can watch this door. I can watch this door. And now the only other way they can get to me is through this door. I'm just watching it. Right. So I'm just I'm just watching the angles that I'm forcing them to come through. So now I know he's here, but we don't want to actually push it because we're getting pushed by a lot of people. Yeah, right there. There you go. And that is how you play Ella, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you do it. See, this this is fun, like. I, I want all the games to be like this, like, this is how it was mostly in the last series. Like, I was able to just play the game, explain what I'm doing, and it was a good time for everybody. That's how I wish all the games were, man. <clears throat> but that's how you should properly use your LM mines. That's why, that's why I say you should try to keep one in your pocket. Put two down where, like, you know for sure, like, it, it is a weak spot. So, like, I put one in Green Hall. Because I, it's very likely someone's going to push Green Hall. And I put my other Z Hall. That way, if I plan to play Z Hall or Bottom Freezer, I can kind of watch my back, right? But then, like, I realized that's kind of a, a hot place to play because they're, they're pushing above. So if I'm playing Z Hall and they're pushing White Window, Bottom White Window, as well as Kids, that I'm going to die there very soon. If with no rotate to security back to site, that's a death sentence. So I played Dining. And I knew that right door was my weakness. I, I couldn't watch all those angles at once, so you just LM mine it off. 
And that way you kind of have peace of mind and you, you can kind of tunnel vision on certain angles. And I didn't want to push that last guy that hit the elemine mine on the, on the door small tower because he hit it. And the LM mine was mostly for like an early warning system. Like if you guys remember, I didn't place it right on the door. I didn't place it so that if he walked through the door, it would hit him. I placed it on that green generator. So if he got close to the door, it would go off. So if I went to swing that, he would have already been way further back than you guys may have think. And because of that, he, he was also ready. Because he hit the LM mine, he was ready for me to swing. So I would have died. You have located a bomb. Spinning up. Another asset. Securing a drone. Changing mag. No one's gonna swing this, man. Right, I'm droning. We must recover the diffuser. Games. We we'll put a flank drone. Yeah, if you have dead teammates, try to give them something to do. He's down. One's down. Throw it back at him. One friendly operator remaining. Sitting in that corner. One op four remaining. Let's go. The game is so easy when you're not against cheaters. Look at the difference, guys, when we just play a normal game, man. That's what we're talking about right there. No cheaters, no bullshit, just a just a fair Oregon game. That's it right there. All right, we're going to try to play one more, guys, cuz I know we played a lot of cheaters this episode. And that was our our first like actual real game, so I'll I'll give you guys one more here. Normally I don't even I don't even play this many games, but the first two were cheaters, so we'll keep going. All right, we are on layer for our last game of this episode. Let's see how it goes. Uh, fair warning, I still don't know this map. I I know. Ooh, I know what's over here. Replicator online. I know this room. I'm slowly learning it. Oh, this looks free. As if that guy's not downed, right? Wait, as if that guy's not downed, right? He's down now. Oh, yeah. Now, let's drone it up, boys. D4 down, that's good. Up P5. Second floor. This hill. Where are the other two though? This Did Oh, there's one. Up P5, P5. Not good.
Ah. Uh, four eliminated all friends. Damn. That's what I died to, bruh. Unlucky, unlucky. I don't know if I want to play Sledge, to be honest. I want to play Gridlock with the Hollow. But what I have smokes on, though, that's bad. I'm going to push with these guys. I think I know where I am. Is this the door that leads to the place with the stairs? Yup. Okay. I'm going to drone it out with IQ. Is it safe for entry? I actually don't even know where site is. Is it downstairs? It is downstairs. The hatch soft? It is not. Is it safe to enter? It is. I'm droning it out first, bruh. You guys get him? Holy shit, everyone's just dead, bruh. How do I get down to sight? Where's where's the down to sight area? I'm changing eggs. This floor sucks. Where am I? Am I doing something? I'm doing something! Okay, how do we get down here? Down over here? Yo, where the fucking stairs, bro? This is fucking upstairs, guys. I don't know. I am working on it. Do I hear him? Imagine that gets him. I got a Prisma, let's go. Oh, let's go, boys. I'm still not even at the site yet. Where the hell am I, man? Oh, wow. That was elite level aim right there. The mission is to locate and defuse a bomb. Hey, they're downstairs again. Oh, guess what? Dwayne's getting the fucking diffuser. The is no longer in oh, yeah. And there ain't nothing he can do about it. Alright, so apparently they're downstairs again. We're gonna be trying to make the grand trek to the bomb site. Wish me luck. I'm going in without a fucking map. Apparently we are somewhere. Oh boy. This looks mighty fun to push. T4. D4. Oh! He's low. He's so low. I thought my traps would be on. My traps are on him. Oh my god. Wait, my teammates are planting. What? How did they even find the site? Oh yeah, one's above. He's gonna go to your hatch. I think they dropped hatch. He's on the hatch, man, for sure. Um, he's Finka, Finka. This is not a time and place to drone, my man. Hold on, Lion's got the positioning. This guy has elite level positioning. One's on the hatch. Oh yeah, quick double for, oh. Friendly, last operator oh no, I think one's downed. Oh yeah, let's go. Four eliminated. We did stuff. We won rounds. Bye bye attack. Finally we're on defense. Surveillance on bombs. Okay, it's our turn for defense. And, and I'm gonna be honest guys, like, I could tell you, like, 
where to place Ella mines and like how to play Ella on the last map. But I don't know about this one. Oh my fucking god, I'm 30 HP. What did I do to deserve this? What did I do to deserve this? Right. No! Woo! Wait, wait, Get out of my way, bro! Everyone's trying to fucking kill me. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. I'll give you guys an Ella mine. What the fuck is that? And I'm out. I'm now the gatekeeper of this door or some shit. I don't have the HP for anything else. Where am I? Is this optimal positioning? Can I shoot him from this window? No, I don't know where that goes. Oh, I thought I heard him go prone. He's one HP. No, I can't hit this guy once. Are you serious? But I'm trolling this game now. I think it's because I just really don't know where I'm going. I haven't, I haven't really taken the time to learn the map yet. I know like most of up here. I guess I don't really know like located a bomb. You know I don't I don't know the exact layout. I think my's about to pick up a frag. One friendly remaining. Oh, oh god. He got frag. One inside, two inside actually. Is guy a bomb? I don't think so. They're gonna be planting. Oh no. NT. Mission failed. All friendlies have been neutralized. Shields deployed. All right, I'm back on this this setup. This time though, I have all of my HP. Let's see if this makes a significant difference or not. No way he saw me! How did he cross? Wait, how did he cross and I- How am I not seeing these guys? No shot, he shot that. No way he shot that with the whole wall open, bro. I thought I was so incognito. They're planning, are you shitting me? Oh my god, they are planning, by the way. The, the bomb is down to your left. Oh? Oh! No, 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 you're gonna die, mute! Stop All right, revive and you guys win this, bro. On bitch, on bitch, on bitch. Yep, yep. Get the revive off. Legion's still full HP. This shit is winnable. He's outside the breach. He really has to be outside the breach. Throned on breach? That can't be real. They gotta send Goyo first, then Legion or Eastwing. Goyo first. Fuse 
Now go, you're good. Yeah, you sent Goyo first because he has less HP. What? No. What do you mean, no? How did we not get that? I thought we had it for sure. Wait, what? Wait, did I just like not look at the, the time left properly? Wait, we, we need to go downstairs, bro. We're getting fucking obliterated up there. Did I look at the time left like incorrectly? Did we actually not have enough time to get that or did he just let go? That's crazy. Dude, I'm running around this site and like, I don't know where to, I don't know where I should set up. Is this a wall that needs to be reinforced right here? Uh, maybe. No, I feel like there's probably feet holes here to help watch the stairs. And then somebody plays over here, right? Oh, but this isn't reinforced. Dude, I got no idea, bro. Oh, what is this? I thought this was back to site. There's too many doors to Alamine. I'm not the pocket at the mall. I'm play reactionary. Oh no. Hey, this is probably a uh, for the push. Where am I? Oh, we're back here. Where are they, bro? Oh! Okay. What? How is he in here? This will be. What? Why am I dead now? Where am I dying? Okay. I, I don't even know like where they're entering from. I, I, okay. This guy's got two goos. Okay. This is just, this is just chaos. I mean, we should just win this though. We just stay up. Oh yeah. Yeah, another one for that shield. Oh, he needs a dock. There you go. Yeah, get back in there, Goyo. On your left, I think. On the left, for sure. A good shit, bro. Oh boy. I think they're gonna have to start shooting some of these Goyos like right now. Oh, he downed one. Oh yeah, Legion should shoot this Goyo. There's 30, 30 seconds. This thing's last 20, 25 seconds. Uh, shoot it, shoot it. What are you waiting for? Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Shoot it, shoot it. He's on the door. Oh my god. He walked in. He's planning in the smoke. Just shoot the shoot right there. Left. Middle of the door. Why didn't he just shoot the fire earlier, man? Dear god. Average warden player. Alright. Well, GG's, I guess. I, dude, that that is that is why I hate playing Goyo, because for some reason the teammates never shoot them. Like that guy could have shot the the Goyo there, the dude would have been able to walk in and plant. It would have been good. But, anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on so you don't miss future episodes, and uh, make sure you guys check out my finals content. I'm probably about to upload another video on that as well. So with that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.